Hey guys, so this week in LEGO Stars we got a ton of great news, some really incredible stuff, all pretty much relating to summer 2022 and all of it is insane. We also do have a few other stories though, some even about 2023, so of course stick around. Before that though, of course the biggest news update was about summer 2022 and all the details we got in the article from Promo Bricks. Now if you aren't aware, Promo Bricks is pretty much the most reliable source when it comes to rumours, so all this stuff is pretty much confirmed to be true, however it is a rumour so of course take it with some level of a grain of salt, uh, but most of this stuff should be pretty accurate. Now there is a lot to go through and I don't particularly want to make this a 60 minute video again, uh, so if you are interested go check out that full video on all the info, which I just did a few days ago now, has the same thumbnail as the one on screen. But here we'll just quickly show all the stuff so you can pause if you don't know, uh, but I'll just go through all the basic, basic set details. The 75323 is the justifier with 1022 pieces retailing for 160 USD and releasing on August 1st. Five minifigures are included, being Cad Bane, Toto 360, Omega, Fennec Shand, and Hunter, and the set is based off the Bad Batch. 75332 is the 4 plus ATST with 87 pieces retailing for 30 US dollars. Three figures are included being Wicked, a Scout Trooper, and an ATST pilot. The set contains obviously a 4 plus ATST, then a small tree with catapult, and a speeder bike. 75333 is Obi Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter with 282 pieces retailing for 30 USD coming out August 1st. This is based off Attack of the Clones and comes Obi Wan. R4P17 and Torn Way. M5334 is Obi Wan Kenobi vs Darth Vader with 408 pieces returned for 50 US dollars coming out August 1st. This set's based on the Obi Wan Kenobi show. Four figures are included being Obi Wan Kenobi, Darth Vader, who new characters called Ned B and Officer Tala Dureth. 75335 is BD1 with 1062 pieces retailing for 100 US dollars and coming out 1st of August. 5336 is the Inquisitor Scythe Transport with 924 pieces retailing for 100 US dollars coming out 1st of August based on the Obi Wan Kenobi show. Three Inquisitors are included and Obi Wan Kenobi. 75337 is the ATTE Walker with 1082 pieces retailing for 140 dollars. This comes with our first Phase 2 Cody, three 212 troopers, three battle droids, and a clone gunner. And finally, the Andor set, 75338 Andor Spaceship and Speeder Bike. Don't know the piece count, but will cost $70 and release at 4. And it will possibly be this ship based on the Obi Wan Kenobi trailer. It kind of fits the description. Basically, it's an unknown ship, but if I had to guess, this kind of works. Anyway, sorry for the real fast pace there, I just had to get that all out of the way. Onto the other news stories, Prombrook's article did also mention that the UCS Razor Crest is likely to be the $530 set. Now, it's not confirmed, but it is the highest rumor right now, and I do really need to make a video on this because I haven't fully done a video on it yet, and it seems to be really important. So, of course, I will definitely cover it by now. Now, this was, of course, originally reported by Republic Studs, which transitions well to our next story. Oh, I didn't make a full video on this because I don't know its validity, but I did just want to quickly mention it here. Basically, Republic Studs put out a rumor for a 2023 set already, which is that a 212th battle pack is coming. Now, Republic Studs, I will grant, has been correct before if the UCS Razor Press turns out to be true, and then he also, of course, to have the ATT minifigures rumor. Uh, so obviously he is somewhat reliable, uh, so if this turns out to be true, it does make sense. However, he does say, uh, even for him, take it with a grain of salt, which I will heavily say here, do not expect this to be coming. However, it does kind of make sense with LEGO's trend of, of course, uh, putting like a, a big exclusive minifigure in a set and then putting them in a cheaper set later on. The only reason against this is that I feel like if there are three in the ATT, then I kind of doubt that they'll do more later. I don't know, it just seems weird like they're kind of trying to make the ATT somewhat of an army builder set. Also credit to Brick Toy Lab for the box art. And finally I did want to talk about some Obi-Wan Kenobi news for the sets because a lot of people missed this, but we actually got a pretty much confirmed release date and I actually talked about this in my Obi-Wan Kenobi set video, uh, which by the way did get like pretty much outdated instantly by the summer news, but whatever. Still check that out if you're interested, I guess. Basically, Star Wars announced this thing called Obi-Wan Wednesdays, which they have had before for Mandalorian Season 2, and of course, I think even The Bad Batch, and then a Book of Boba Fett. Basically, each Wednesday, they'll reveal new products based on Obi-Wan Kenobi, and in the description, they confirm that LEGO will be revealed during these. So this could be at any Wednesday at any point. We do know that they will be talking about Summer Sets at Celebration, so it wouldn't surprise me if on the first Wednesday, 
which by the way ties in pretty much directly with Star Celebration, which is uh, which the LEGO panel is the next day. So if they reveal the Obi-Wan Kenobi sets then, then they can just talk about them at Celebration. So that would be my guess, but we will have to wait and see. Also I know I said that was the final story, but I forgot to mention that the two final DLC packs released this week, uh, for the Skywalker Saga of course, which are of course the Bad Batch DLC, and then the Mandalorian Season 2 DLC. So both those are out now, and those are the final DLCs to release, so pretty much that's the last content as we know that the Skywalker Saga will be getting post-launch. So apart from that, it's only mods and pretty much nothing else, sadly. Hopefully we will get some more DLC packs in the future, but with, I kind of doubt it. Uh, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Anyways, next week, not expecting much. All the May 4th promos are all off now, so can't really say anything about that still being on. Skywalker Saga, I'm sure some of you will still be playing through that. Other than that, I am not sure, but I'm sure I will still have stuff to talk about. So please let me know your thoughts down below. What part of news are you most excited for? Are you hyped for those summer sets? However, oh, yeah, that'll be all today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. That'll be all, folks. Goodbye.